The Sheikh of the Shamar is a powerful man. His tribe numbers 20 million, stretching from northern Syria to Iraq and beyond. Militiamen guard his palace in the Syrian desert. He's lent their services to the battle against Daesh, the Islamic State, whose existence he blames on the Saudis with their strict interpretation of Islam. Just before I met him, he'd been scolding visiting British special forces about Britain's support of Saudi Arabia. We drove out to see his army, the Sanadid forces, or bravest of the brave, who stood guard along the route. They number about 8,000, an important piece in the mosaic of militia aligned against the Islamic State. The British special forces had just left. Despite the Sheikh's criticism of Western governments, they're allies in the struggle to oust IS from Raqqa and other towns. The Sanadid are commanded by the Sheikh's son. For him and his father, this is a struggle for land, honor, and ideology. <laughs> يعني بآخر أيامه وعسكريا تعتبر شبه ساقطة يعني داعش ولكن الفكر راح يظل فترة وحنا نحاول ن يعني نقاتل داعش بطرق بعد ما تنتهي عسكريا ويبحكم المنتهي عسكريا راح نحاول نكافحه فكريا يعني وحنا لنا دور كبير بموضوع الفكر. The soldiers' loyalty is not to a government or a country, but to their tribe and whichever cause the Sheikh decrees. They've long been allies of the Kurds in the area. But will that survive what happens next? These guys are part of the biggest Arab tribal army fighting against Islamic State in northern Syria. They're fighting alongside the Kurds. They have common cause. But when that battle is over, well, they say they've been here for thousands of years. They're not going to give up this territory to any independent Kurdistan. The Kurds deny that they're pushing for independence, but the Sheikh's concerned that they have designs on Raqqa, an Arab town, and that after IS is defeated, new battles will break out. The Shamar are proud of their Arab stallions, a tradition that endures. To them, the fight against the Islamic State is just the latest round in a centuries-long battle for power in the region. As they combat a new version of an ancient ideology, they're determined to subdue.